Y'all been asking for aggressive Titan gameplay. I hope this will suffice. Not using Jolt Nades because Lightning's already Jolt. With the Touch of Thunder. Your ghost has limited power. Survive at all costs. Good, I got optimal start. I can push to get angles. Eat some nades. There we go. There's a lot of nades. Let's go. It's not enough damage and the spawner is going to disrupt my team. I wish we didn't push this. We didn't have a reason to. Let's cut my losses. I need my lightning grenade to win this. Huge. Oh, unfortunately your grenade broke mine. Or they shot it, one of the two. Terrible's out. Terrible's not out anymore. More momentum Mori. Beautiful. Huge. My team is playing very, very good despite that overextension at the beginning. We can back down, it's fine. We can back down, dude. We can back down. We get to my team. Huge. All right, playing excellent right now. So let's talk about Thruster for a second. I think that Thruster is a worse option than Barricade because for every cool ankle break or something like that, there's five more situations that a Barricade would have prevented a death or helped your team out in some sort of way. It's justified for the cooldown, and honestly, Barricade should be even longer of a cooldown. It's so powerful. Uh, for controller players, though, Thruster offers something that you can't really get anywhere else. I'm okay taking that trade. There is a good chance I get a double when they're already weak. My job is to create opportunities for my team. I'm gonna jump, put my face here for a sec so they wanna look up there. I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh, dude, he just shit on me. There's nothing I can do about that. He must have got a quick charge or something there. Maybe hit all burst on the first and walked it out wide to catch me. That's on me, I overextended. But part of playing this build is playing aggressive. You saw what it looked like when I did my job. He's also on a shop. What can I do against the no time to explains? I just farm super. Oh, that almost ended badly for them. Okay, so I cannot beat no time to explain even at close distance. I gotta respect it more. They will overextend to chase a kill. So we can use that with my teammates, if I let my teammates be a little more aggressive. Oh, 
Oh, that would have been nice cover. He's on double primary. Nice, teammate got an angle. So let teammate do the job. It's okay, he's looking at me. Good job. Not even the disorient. It was being in the melee distance that was dangerous. We get this power? Huge. All right, let's super. Let's get this round win. Now you can save it. It's on me. It's just bad aim. New mouse. New mouse bad. Not using my grenades when there's three of us up with two lives remaining. Good trade out. my team huge good place you're in the lead stay there I usually beam people with terrible extra zoom and it absolutely matters I think this SMG is overrated Huge. Eh, I don't know if I want to level that up. I'll level the Brigand's Law first. Okay, so now I guess I can talk more about this build since I have downtime. Usually the uh, 3vx situations are more stressful because they have more of an opportunity to win. But once we have supers, I think it's a wrap. So, lightweight SMG, 3 mobility. Lightweight is always plus 2 tiers, and then Peacekeepers plus 5. So, maxes it out. Also get a sprint bonus, decks with peacekeepers, and it opens up an exotic slot like Wither Horde, which I think is a better option than Shap. Not that Shap isn't fantastic, I just find it pairs really nicely with the hand cannon. Those invis builds. He has Sightens. Huge. I also could just use a different slug with Terrible, and that's really the opportunity cost that I'm getting at. It's not that Shap is bad, it's that Shap with the legendary options isn't as good as Terrible to have that win condition, and then you still could have a slug that could have even more utility than Shap, because you're already getting your movement bonus from just using your SMG. So, food for thought. Not to say Shap isn't good, I just think it's better on other builds. 
So as far as SMG options, let me quickly pull my favorites in the lightweight department. And I just get a drop. Didn't pay attention. Using Destiny Item Manager. Sub machine gun. We have Callus Mini Tool, which I think you skip even if you do have a solar build. Doesn't punch out of its weight class. Funnel Web can punch out of its weight class, you just need Range Finder. And this is a pretty good roll, but Funnel Web also does something with the Origin trait that's pretty interesting here. Hold on, I want to queue Control. So we're going to read the Origin trait, which is Vice Stinger, that allows you to get a random reload just for shooting your opponent. And SMGs for dealing with multiple targets, you're going to find that you really want that extra ammo. And you can double down with this concept by going Pulse Monitor on this column. So you could have a chance of a reload, you get damaged a reload, and then a perk like Focus Fury so you can work towards like a small win condition. It's not great, but once you're out of Wither Horde ammo or something like that, at least you have something to up your damage. The other one isn't a lightweight. But I do want to mention that Hero's Burden is my personal pick, even though I think adaptive frames are hot garbage when compared to lightweights, just due to the precision damage. You will get out TTK'd by any lightweight, but I'm not using Hero's Burden uh, for anything except Skulking Wolf. Want low health Guardian final blows with this weapon, grant enhance radar, and remove you from opposing radar. And so this kind of synergizes with Kill Clip while you delay your Kill Clip, activate Skulking Wolf, and then refight him. I think Fragile Focus is okay, but I would take Aerosol in a heartbeat to just be able to fly over people and beam them. As far as out of bounds options, kill perk, consistency perk, preferably killing wind to push out the range on the second kill. Okay, let's see what I can do on Jav. That's a kill. No jolt, please. Turn around, homie. Turn around. We're good. We anchored it. Oh, maybe we didn't anchor it. Oh, that side flinch hurt. Was about to delete that guy and then slide forward to duel the Terraba. Okay, consider this a bonus gameplay. Just showing that spawn camp for a sec. That was pretty nasty. <laughs> 